All right, and that will bring us, ladies and gentlemen, to the main event of the evening scheduled for 12 three-minute rounds, a professional championship heavyweight boxing action. It is brought to you by Stonewood Homes, and it is for the WBO Oriental Heavyweight Championship. Making his way to the cage, uh, to the, uh, the scale here, the cage, that was last week's show, sorry. Uh, making his way to the scale here, ladies and gentlemen, he'll be fighting out of the red corner on the night. Would you please put your hands together for the interim heavyweight WBO Oriental Champion, Mr. Junior Fong! years of age. 27 wins, 21 KOs. Just those two losses and he was the first man to take Anthony Joshua the distance and that is a loss that he wants to rectify. Obviously also he suffered from that uh, controversial loss to Dillian White uh, who led with the head most of the fight. He's never been knocked out. He's got a superb chin and uh, a great knockout punch, a very, very high knockout percentage of over 70. Junior Far, number five in the world. These guys are only separated by two positions in the WBO. This is the highest ranked homegrown heavyweight bout. It's truly a privilege to be here to see these two guys from South Auckland. Representing on the world stage. That's one of the reasons why there's been no smack talk. We don't go with the American model with these boys. Okay? And that is a tribute to... Kiwi culture and Polynesian culture. Yay. Junior Far is undefeated at 19 and 0. 10 KOs, he's 31 years old. This is a huge fight, just a massive celebration for us here in New Zealand that it really is and will be a privilege to call it. Just going to talk now to Junior. Try not to step on the big fella's toes. 
Junior, obviously uh, a little bit of slip up in the lead up. We had that delay for the fight. Uh, how much better do you feel for getting that injury sorted? A lot better. I feel a lot better. Performed a lot better in um, this camp as opposed to the last day. But no, I'm good to go. The training's done, the talking's done. I'm good to go tomorrow night. Obviously, uh, you know, Joe has the better resume. Um, and, and that's been uh, that's why he's considered, uh, I guess, the favourite in this fight. But uh, people don't know that you've been in with Joshua in sparring. You've been in with Joe Joyce in sparring. You fought the, the likes of Usyk in the in the amateurs. Tell us a little bit about your amateur ser amateur experience, particularly in the World Series of boxing, and uh, how closely that will match up and assist you in this the professional game. I think all those fights don't matter, but I do know that tomorrow night will basically be our fifth time stepping into the ring together. Um, I've taken away things that we uh, learned from each other previously and I'm going to put together a good game plan. Me and my team have put together a great game plan and we plan to you know, go out and do the job tomorrow night. And obviously you, you're, you're leading the charge, one of three city kickboxing fighters. Uh, for you, what's it like preparing as a team as opposed to preparing as an individual? Big, big difference. All of us are training there, training for the same goal, um, lifting each other up, pushing each other while we're all, you know, cruising towards the same date. So all of us are in tip-top shape and you'll see tomorrow. All right, Joe, this has been a camp you have uh, undertaken uh, entirely in New Zealand. How's that been different for you? Um, firstly, it's good to see everyone here, and we'll be here today to support the fighters and the undercut fighters. I've had a tremendous camp here in New Zealand. It's, uh, it's new for us, we haven't had a camp here in New Zealand for a long time. So it was great to be able to be here, to see family and friends, uh, be with my family, but also get the work done. And I feel like I've had some great work with Coach Kev, uh, bang work, running, and then I had some great sparring with two guys who came in and gave it a lot. So. I mean, like Junior said, a lot, a lot has been said, um, and now it's just time to get to work. You mentioned your family, and uh, you know, obviously, you've got a, a, a couple of young daughters now. How does that uh, change how you, how you approach? Uh, I guess not just the fight game, but, but everything in life. You know, there's a lot of sacrifices, and it's the same uh, with Junior. You know, we have young kids, and we sacrifice time away from them. So, um, in order to, you know, we're sacrificing this time, we have to make the most of the opportunity that we have. And for me, I'm just driven and motivated to uh, help my kids in their future. And that's the same for other fighters as well. Now, there's, there's the, the big talk, obviously, that you've got the, the, uh, the greater experience there, that you are the favorite in this fight. Any danger of complacency and looking past to the likes of Chisora, which has been mentioned, to the likes of uh, Anthony Joshua? Listen, again, everyone can talk about the other fights that are in the future, but my focus is purely on junior fighters in front of me. And that's the respect I have for him because this is the fight to me that matters the most. There's no point looking at future fights if I can't get past the junior fight. And we, we, spoke about, we spoke about this uh, at the open workouts. How much of a privilege is it for you uh, to be headlining a card with so much uh, Polynesian talent and Kiwi talent in, in particular and, and leading the way and being in a position to be able to do that? It is a humbling experience. You know, you've got two guys from South Auckland, headlining this card that's going to be shown around the world in 180 countries, I believe. And then you have the other kind of fighters, a lot of them from South Auckland, all around Auckland, New Zealand. So it's great for us to, you know, this platform to show the talent that we have here on the side of the world. Yes, and all right, boys, now let's face up.
Alrighty guys, well, there you have it. That's the end of the official weigh-in. Obviously the main event tomorrow night at Spark Arena in Auckland, also live on Spark Sport. Thanks so much for coming forward to the Stonewood Pilots, Justin Parker, Junior Farr, heavyweight extravaganza in association with headquarters. Thanks again to our live hosts, Leo Malloy and headquarters. And don't forget, tickets are still available at Ticketmaster. $69 or pay-per-view available to purchase at sparksport.co.nz All right, the media will be fed now. It is time to feed the media. There's some food out here. I would like it if the cameraman could get fed, fed first. We'll see you tomorrow night. Also, anyone uh, after one-on-ones in the media, uh, if you haven't already, go and see Carolina, and she will try and organize that.